How's it going guys? It's me, Jimmy Champagne, and today we're going to be talking about Halloween once again, straight out of San Diego Comic-Con 2018. NECA revealed this morning their ultimate Michael Myers figure, and oh my god, you guys, it might be the best figure they've done yet. They actually kind of showed it off at the preview night last night, but it had a little sheet over it, but everyone could see the jack-o'-lantern and guy's severed head under the sheet, so everyone just kind of knew it was a Michael Myers figure. The reason this is so cool is because we actually haven't gotten a new Michael Myers figure of this scale in a really long time. The last one I can remember is from the McFarlane Toys Movie Maniacs line, which came out in the early 2000s. It looked pretty good, but if you've ever tried to get one of those figures secondhand, yeah, you know why this is a pretty big deal, that you can get this one for around 25 bucks, depending on where you look. According to Big Bad Toy Store, this guy comes with a window package box, which is pretty typical for their ultimate figures. He also has two heads, a knife, a hammer, a jack-o'-lantern, alternate hands, a Judith Myers gravestone, and it looks like another head, the severed one. So Specifically, this Michael Myers is from this year's Halloween, so presumably all of the accessories that come with him will be featured in this year's movie. So that might mean that he's gonna steal Judith Myers' gravestone once again, which I just kind of think is funny. He's just so attached to this big rock that has his sister's name carved into it. I just, I don't know why, I think that's kind of funny. If you guys have been watching my videos for a while, you've actually seen that jack-o'-lantern before because Ginny Gardner posted a picture of herself holding it while they were filming the movie. So yeah, any hope I had of her living after after that jump scare in the trailer is pretty much gone. This girl's definitely gonna die in this movie. Of course I had to save my favorite piece for last, and that's the severed head with a jack-o'-lantern's face carved into it. That is pretty goddamn inventive of Michael Myers, and I am excited to see that happen on screen. But anyways, it's kind of a mystery who this character is, but I do think there are a couple clues here that we can figure out. My first theory revolves around the fact that we know Michael is going to be transferred from Smith's Grove to a maximum security prison, and we don't really know why, because why after 40 years years would they transfer him to a prison? Well, maybe he kills one of his fellow patients at Smith's Grove, so he'll get transferred and then he can break off the bus, and that's just one of the random patient's heads. The only reason that makes sense to me is because Blumhouse allowed NECA to show it off before their big panel, or at least before the movie was even out. My second theory involves Toby Huss's character, who we only know as Ray at this point. We see him with Lori's daughter, Karen, in the trailer, and later on, we see Michael stab him in the back. They try to obscure it, but you can totally tell it's him, thanks to his weird plaid shirt. That means he probably dies in the movie. Also, I think he's Lori's ex-husband who legally adopted her daughter after they divorced. The hairline is a little off, but this is a prototype, and I honestly think NECA could have filled it in to make the sculpt a little easier, so at the end of the day, I think there's a chance that this is Ray we're seeing here. Before I go, I wanted to let you guys know that Shudder was kind enough to give me a special link and promo code of Jimmy that'll allow you to get a 30-day subscription to their service for free. I think that's awesome because I've been subscribed since 2015 when it was in beta, and they have movies like The Texas Chainsaw Massacre, Creepshow 2, and one of my favorites ever, The House of the Devil. They also have Joe Bob Briggs' Last Drive-In uploaded as a VOD thing where you can watch all 13 movies with his commentary, and that just makes this trial worth it alone because getting to watch 13 movies for free doesn't really happen often, especially with Joe Bob's awesome commentary. So you can check that link out down in the description, or if you just want to go to Shutter and sign up for yourself, the promo code is Jimmy, J-I-M-M-Y. So yeah guys, that's all the news I have for you today. I know this is a smaller video, but I just had to do one on that figure because we haven't gotten a Michael Myers figure in forever and I'm just really excited about it. I will be doing a video tomorrow as soon as I get home from work about whatever Blumhouse shows off at their panel tomorrow at 345. So make sure you check back in on my channel for that. But anyways guys, my name is Jimmy Champagne and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.